We all think of electric cars as new things that have only existed in the past 50 years and only really worked well in the past 15, but you might actually be surprised at how old they are. While model electric cars date back to 1828, we'll have to jump a decade in the future to 1837 until we see the first actual electric car invented by Robert Davison. This was before lead acid batteries had been invented, so the car used a galvanic cell, essentially a zinc copper battery that couldn't be recharged. Even so, the car could pull 6 tons at 4 miles per hour for about a mile and a half, but sadly it was soon destroyed by railway workers who didn't want to lose their jobs, despite the fact that the batteries were 40 times more expensive than burning coal, so their jobs weren't really in any danger. This was made even more impressive considering the first two-stroke engine to run off of kerosene wasn't even invented until 1873, and the first patent for a proper gasoline car was in 1886 by the Benz Company, meaning the electric car was invented before the gasoline car by almost 30 years. Battery technology made another advancement in 1859 with the invention of the lead acid battery which gave electric cars the ability to store more energy and to be recharged, meaning they suddenly became much more practical and no longer just a plaything. In the late 1890s, the electric bat was invented and meant to be a practical electric car, and it was pretty successful. The inventors Morris and Salem decided to cash in on their invention and create an electric taxi company. At its peak, this company had 600 cabs operating in New York City alone, with smaller fleets in Boston, Baltimore, and a few other cities. To get around the costly downtime of their cabs recharging, which they would need to do every 25 miles or so, they came up with the idea of battery switching stations, where the cabs would pull in and have their depleted batteries switched out with charged ones. London also had electric taxis and they were nicknamed hummingbirds due to the humming noise the electric motors made. This was pretty much the golden age for electric vehicles, but the decline started shortly after. With improved road infrastructure, suddenly people wanted cars that could carry them much further, something an electric car just couldn't do. Combine that with the mass production of gasoline cars by Henry Ford dramatically lowering the price of gas cars, along with the fact that gasoline was becoming much cheaper, and electric cars just didn't stand a chance. By the time World War I came about, most electric car companies had vanished just to be forgotten. Many companies tried to bring back electric cars, but they just couldn't compete with gasoline cars. Due to their limited range and the fact that they were much more expensive than gasoline cars, they didn't stand a chance. But with limited non-renewable resources, many companies started toying with the idea of electric cars again. The General Motor Company created the EV1, but it suffered from the same problems of its predecessors. Limited range and it was just too expensive. They only managed to lease out about 600 of them. And while other companies had plenty of successes with hybrids, most notably the Toyota Prius, these aren't truly electric cars, since they rely mostly on a gasoline engine. But then everything changed when Tesla came around, an ambitious young company that made electric cars much more practical and got rid of the stigma that all electric cars looked bad. Once they saw successes, many other companies saw the potential market and jumped in. Right now, it looks like we could be seeing another golden age of electric vehicles. So, do you guys think electric vehicles will be the future of cars? Leave your answer down in the comments, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Also please consider subscribing, and if you have any ideas for future episodes leave it in the comments or over on my twitter, link in description. Thank you for watching, and as always, please enjoy the rest of your internet going experience.